Welcome to HASCO 2023, the International Hadron Collider Physics Summer School at the University of Göttingen. Students from all over the world come together in Göttingen for eight days of fundamental principles of particle physics. Students get a chance to discuss experiments, analyze data, and contribute to ongoing research projects. The school is a hands-on experience in international research and collaborations. It's a chance to collaborate with fellow students from around the world. Through group projects and research presentations, connections are made, and in particle physics, it is quite likely that you might work on a project together in the future. But HASCO is not only about science. Let's hear from the participants about what makes HASCO 23 a unique experience. But the nice part is we are about 47 students this year, and literally from all corners of the globe, and just getting to meet people from such diverse backgrounds, doing something that they're passionate about, and it's the same area of passion that you have, it's really amazing to kind of build those connections. And it's wonderful to be in an environment where it's really encouraged to be as passionate as the lecturers are. And yeah, it's really, it's a very, very fun experience. Maybe it's the first time that uh, I go around, go uh, in, uh, in another country for uh, one week to have lecture, to have lecture. So it, it's a really beautiful experience. I don't know how to say another word, but it's really amazing for me. When I looked at all the professors who are going to give the lectures and seeing just the universities that they come from and some people who actually worked at CERN, um, it was both overwhelm overwhelming and intimidating that I'm going to be meeting like people who are really active in this field. Um, you kind of want to bother them with questions, uh, so you do your best. And they've all been so friendly and, you know, very happy to answer all our questions, which I really appreciate. Now, it's like we are starting a new family because all of us are starting our new journey from here, kind of. It's starting for early. Some here are master's students and some here are PhD students. So I think later when we'll meet somewhere, so it will be like, oh yeah, I, it, he's my family or she's my family. I know that person from there. We met there. It's really the first time where you can talk to active researchers in the field and not only learn the language, but also learn the mathematics and also learn the experimental searches that are actively going on. That's extremely important. And that's why these summer schools are really valuable, because you get a fast introduction to concepts. That's my main takeaway, is that I can really test my own knowledge and what I've learned in my coursework and, and apply it to other people and see how much they could pick up from me. That's really nice. Two thousand twenty-three marks the forty-year anniversary of the discovery of the W boson. CERN announced the discovery of the W boson on the twenty-fifth of January in nineteen eighty-three. The W boson is the fourth heaviest particle in the Standard Model, and its mass is created via the Brout-Englert-Higgs mechanism. This mechanism called for the existence of a Higgs boson, which was discovered by the ATLAS and CMS experiment at CERN in two thousand twelve. Since the 1983 discovery, experimental physicists have continued to compare measurements of W boson properties with theoretical predictions. Studies at the LHC, short for Large Hadron Collider, now build on those probing properties, particularly the mass, with increasingly higher precision. Any deviation from the theory could hint towards yet unknown physics. This is where Göttingen and the Hasco School come into play. At Hasco, we have experts in the field, renowned physicists, researchers, and educators who are eager to share their knowledge and expertise with the next generation of researchers. Yeah, what you get is a first-hand uh, experience uh, on uh, LHC physics uh, from, from real uh, experts who are working on cutting-edge uh, topics uh, in, in the LHC, and you can actually ask us, students can ask us, students can make connections, networking. CERN is, a, is an infrastructure. And the infrastructure is there to help universities and physics institutes to do critical, critical stuff, critical things. Good experiments where you really make a difference and that you cannot do alone. But you cannot, as the technologies and everything progresses and you have learned from the past and the students get normally an education which is an education of today, they are very precious. 
Science uh, is built upon uh, uh, the new generations that come and contribute with their new ideas, right? People like me start to become old and uh, less efficient. So we, we need uh, young blood uh, to, to achieve great results. Uh, I work in software and uh, I, I work in a project called Root. It's an open source library uh, for statistical data analysis in high energy physics. And uh, what I try to convey here is that our project is not, it's not, a closed, um, um, uh, it's not a closed project where the young people cannot contribute. No, it's really an open software pro project where the young people can also uh, pick, um, some, uh, pick up some of the tasks and implement their own ideas in the software that is then used by everyone. And that's what I'm trying to, to convey. That Root is an open project where even the young people can, can contribute. I think uh, that our work, like actually being a physicist is a very diverse work. There are days that you spend your time coding. There are days that you spend time speaking with other scientists to discuss. Sometimes uh, you are in the control room, like very busy trying to just to get good data. So you don't have to focus on just one thing. You can do many, many things being a physicist. I think this is like the most fun and it's again very different from what you do in lectures. It's really the social aspect because in conferences it's usually like you know lecture or presentation and presentation and very short time for discussion. But here also the lecturers try to be part of the social activities and I think that makes it rather unique. Of course, to keep the students uh, excited for an hour forty five minutes that's not easy. It's my first time doing this, so it's also a learning experience for myself. Um, so I hope that I can get some co constructive feedback to improve on for for later. But it's not all work and no play. Göttingen, with its rich history and vibrant culture, offers a perfect scenery for unforgettable experiences. From exploring the historic streets and homes to famous physicists, to excursions to the Hartz Mountains, and historical Gauss Observatory, Hasco offers a wide variety of activities to make long-lasting memories. So don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to expand your horizons, gain valuable knowledge, and make lifelong connections in the world of particle physics. Join us at the next International Hadron Collider Physics Summer School at the University of Göttingen in 2024.